everybody. It's me again. I'm gonna do an ASMR video. Whispering. Talking a little bit. I have my singing bowl here. Just got that last week. nice. 
place and I like dogs so much. It would be so cool just to go around filming dogs all day and have that as a job, but anyways, a little bit off topic. This hair is sticking up. What kind of haircut should I get? soon, which is crazy to even think about Halloween being that soon. Seems like time is going by pretty fast. I remember when I was a kid, I'd wait pretty much all year for Halloween. I'd be so pumped on the free candy and the dressing up and the watching scary movies, staying up late. The petty vandalism, obviously. Smashing pumpkins. Um, Someone just texted me. I don't know who that is because I'm not much of a texter. But I heard a buzz. I've been watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I finally saw the famous meme episode of The Implication. That was probably their most famous episode. I'm not sure if it is, but I've seen it, that clip referenced in memes and other YouTube videos and things like that, the, the boat uh, party episode, which ironically referenced Diddy and the implication in the same episode, so I think it, people have known about Diddy for quite some time, but not to be a conspiracy guy. hustle and bustle now. There's always been hustle and bustle. Maybe even more than there is now. It's hard to say. I don't have a time machine. But what I do know is if you don't take time to relax and to take care of yourself, you're going to make yourself stressed out, burnt out, and sick. So you need to unwind. Even if your life is hectic and you're in a grind state, Everything's going wrong and you need to dial in and all of that. I get it. Even if that's you right now, you still need this. You still need to just relax right now. Take a little time. Come back home. Find your footing. Breathe in, breathe out. Close your eyes if you have to.
as a Sunday cruise, just kind of in the country, through the hills, around some lakes. It's fall, so the leaves are falling down. I listened to some YouTube videos when I was driving. I turned it off for a while too, and I had no noise, no sound. to the store, got some chicken. I actually went to a mall that I've never been before. I'm not a mall guy, and I'm not a travel guy, but I went to a mall in the town next to mine, so I guess I'm a micro mall guy and a, a little bit of a traveler as well. Micro traveler, only a little bit further than an hour out of the city, but still. to the same mall a few hours after I was there, so that was kind of weird. And they had Halloween decorations and like a maze, like a scary Halloween themed maze at the mall. I didn't go in, but my mom was sharing photos of it. That's how I know that she was there. yourself unnecessary stress and when those situations come up you're not going to actually a perform as good as you would have if you didn't worry as, as much and b you're going to deal with it either in a different way the same way as you would have either if you thought about it or not so thinking about it in advance over and over stressing yourself out is meaningless you're gonna just deal with it when it happens and if it happens it happens you'll adjust a door will close a window will open and you'll move on and sometimes in life something's just not meant for you and if that's the case, then don't hold on too strong. And something better will come along. And you need to have faith in that. And you need to believe in that. And it's more than just believing in a vague idea. It's believing in yourself. try 
something else or if you don't have a car. There's many things that you can do to relax and to clear your head. Whether it's active or if it's meditative. On the active side, you could do something physical. You could go to the gym or you can run or something like this. And on the more meditative side, you can watch an ASMR video. You can read a book. You can take a bath. You can lay down. You can focus on your breathing. There's many things that you can do, both active and meditative, that will help ground your psyche and put yourself back in the moment. A walk in nature is really nice. It's a really good thing for that. Pets can help with that as well. A dog or a cat can help bring you in the moment. Sometimes putting down the phone, stopping scrolling will help. Drawing a picture. Something that brought me in the moment the other day, or maybe last week even, was I did a crossword at the library, and I don't see many people doing those anymore, but it does focus you in a way that's different than um, things that would focus you on your device, or, or even reading, really, because you have to search for the thing. You're writing, you're reading, and you're searching. And it pulls your mind into something that's attentive and it, it's dialed in, it's focused, but it's not high pressure activity where you're going to feel like you need to perform to cause improvement to yourself or it's a necessity or whatever kind of pressure you might think. It's more of just a pastime and there's no real pressure to finish it even if you don't want to finish it. You could just do one or two and, and it doesn't matter. It's not a competition. So I did that and it's something that you can put your mind into but not feel pressure and it helps bring you back into the moment just like you would when you're focusing on your breathing. Hopefully this singing bowl is coming up on the microphone because that would be unfortunate, but if it's not, I'm going to just roll with it because I can't be worrying about things that may or may not happen, like I said. When I first started this channel, um, or when I first relaunched it with the Yeti microphone, I had a shoddy cable, and the first four videos that I shot in ASMR couldn't be posted. Um, so I was literally not recording anything and I was just talking to myself and I was livid. I was actually so mad the first time, not like swearing, not hot under the collar, throwing things or anything like visually mad, but I was more just kind of like a, like kind of like this down, mopey, kind of disappointed, like, oh my life's like all negative like you know how people get kind of sulky it's kind of that type of anger um like a sad disappointed anger a defeated anger an anger at myself but it doesn't matter man it's it only matters if you're chasing something and if you're always chasing something and you're not enjoying the process then you're never truly alive you're never truly in the moment you're not right now there is no future there is no past there's right now you just need to be in the right now something that i'm working
working on in my life and I've been working on this my whole life to get brought back into the now. It comes more naturally when you're a kid and as you grow older you lose it. You lose, I don't know if it's your sense of play or your sense of openness or if it's age expectations and goals and deadlines that limit the way a person can express themselves or, or live in the moment now because, I don't know, there's constraints now. So I'm always trying to find that balance that I once had, but I've lost it. And this helps right now. Talking about it helps. Breathing helps. The singing bowl helps. The drive helps. taking this time right now to not worry about anything and to say these affirmations to you guys but as well as to myself that everything's going to be okay and you don't have to be perfect and not everything is going to ever be perfect Halloween just around the corner and I'm not going to dress up but it would be fun I just don't have any excuse or reason to dress up I'd just be alone sitting with my costume but if you guys are going to dress up it'd be interesting if you let me know about that um, I do like seeing some of the costumes that people come up with on Instagram I think I'm going to taper this video off and end it in a couple minutes. I think it's one of my better videos. I'm not sure if it'll hit or not. I think it's one of my better videos just because it's relaxed me. I've relaxed myself and calmed myself down a little bit with this one. So, it's a little bit of self-medicating with the singing bowl. And uh, if you guys get that effect too, that would be great. I, I kind of rambled off there a couple times. And I might have said some negative things here or there. But not crazy negative. And I've said a lot worse on this channel at other times. So. I think we're good. Nothing to worry about. I'm always trying to come in the moment and just find something relaxing. It's a real gift when you can be in the moment. You can... It's not like focusing your mind, tunnel vision on a task. It's... It's, it's different and it's unexplainable when you are truly calm and mindful in the moment. It's it's a real gift. It's a real gift. I like um, in temples and uh, churches and any place of worship they have at least in the more orthodox traditions of Christianity and, and such, they have um, rhymes and music and chants and uh, gongs and singing bowls and incense and all these things. And there's something that's lost if you if you don't have these things. I think it's we're not as spiritual as we once were. Feeling a little bit crazy.
crazy even saying that. I feel new agey and like I, it feels douchey to say that sometimes, but there's something lacking if you don't take time to bring yourself in the moment. And the point of me bringing that up is I think our ancestors knew that a bit more than we know that now because we have devices that are stimulating and they add things like singing bowls and incense and, and things to bring them more together in the moment. And I think it just, it relates to brain chemistry really, to turn your brain off and to lower your sensitivities rather than heighten them with a very dopamine stimulating environment or device like an iPhone. channel. I typically end these with some well wishes and some affirmations, things like that. And I don't want it to run on too long and go on and on and on. I'm still trying to figure out the, the best um, length for an ASMR video. Typically, I think I'm at about 14 minutes. This is going to about 30 now. So what I'll say is, thanks for viewing this. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you didn't and you got to this far, then maybe you did, you know? And good for you either way. Hopefully you landed on this video and you stayed for a while. Not just to help me, but it, it does help me, obviously. But because I think going one channel to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, isn't where you want to be, especially at the end of the night when you're trying to fall asleep. So if you landed on this video and you got to relax and you made it this far, then I did my job and I helped you out. And I feel good about that. I know personally I go channel to channel finding ASMR videos and I'm very ADHD. I don't have great attention span, but sometimes you click on one and something of it in it or of it captivates you and you stay. And if this video was that for you, then I'm honored. Thank you. I hope everyone's doing well, fantastic, great, amazing, awesome. I hope you're actualizing all your goals and your ambitions. Even if your ambition right now is only to relax, I hope then that that's what you're doing. I wish you mindfulness, abundance, and peace. I wish prosperity to you and your family. I wish you many healthy years, friends, wealth, and health. God bless you. I love you. It's going to be okay. Look after yourself, drink water, hydrate, eat healthy foods. There's no warranty for your body. You 
got to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of the ones around you. If you ever need to revisit this, feel free to do so. And if not, the best advice I can give is the advice that I was told many times as a child and I never really listened to is, if it gets to be too much, take a breath, breathe, focus on your breathing. I don't know about the count to ten, that was pretty classic parenting, count to ten could help, but I think it's mainly the breathing. Take a breath. <laughs> prosperity on you and your family. Thank you for watching.